Hey guys, welcome back to Standard Time. Another day, another unboxing. Today we're taking a look at actually a quartz piece, which is new for this channel. We typically look at mechanical watches because that's what we're mostly interested in. However, this time it's a it's really an inexpensive field watch, which is all black, known as the Infantry IN-044. Um, not really a specific name, but let's see how the actual watch is. So it comes in a fairly decent box. I quite like the packaging and how minimalistic it is. For about 25 euros, 25 dollars, it already seems to be a decent deal. Um, the box is fairly nice. I, I like the aesthetic like I mentioned. So taking a look inside the box, we have some paperwork, the usual, and we've got the watch in a plastic covering with some sort of emblem of an eagle their logo infantry I guess that's supposed to be an eagle it's funny to have a booklet on how to operate the watch since it is a plain three-hander quartz well I guess it has a day-date complication so perhaps you could use it for that taking a look at the watch itself nicely packaged it's already taken away it is a quartz and sometimes manufacturers like to block the crown and put something in there so it doesn't well the hands don't tick but I guess the watch still is sort of running so I'm not sure it makes too much of a difference now the watch itself is all black it's got a PVD finish so it is matte and I really like that I don't like gloss on a watch now it's uh, really nice to see that infantry tag on the watch it seems to be punching a fair bit above its actual price now in the hand it has a little bit of weight it's not too heavy uh, it's about 60 grams in total including the strap the most surprising thing to me is actually the strap I was expecting it to be absolute rubbish because that's kind of what you expect when you have a really inexpensive watch but this time around the nylon strap seems to be of really good material and I think I would actually use it on other watches. It's a shame that it's 22 millimeters um, in lug width, so I don't really have any other pieces that have 22 millimeter lugs. But looking at the watch itself, it's fairly good in proportion, so that's not too much of a problem, I guess. As you can see, the strap is pretty nice in the hand, pretty sturdy, it's quite rugged. I really like that the well the buckle has a sort of infantry embossing I guess on it. It's nice. I mean at such such a price point you don't you hardly ever see any extras added. This one's really nice. And surprisingly the the crystal I'm not too sure what it is. It's probably some sort of mineral crystal, but it seems to have some sort of anti-reflective coating because it does not have too much glare at many angles. So that's a big plus. At 50 meters of water resistant, I mean this is not a dive watch, it doesn't have any screw down crown or whatever. It's just a field watch, but it's quartz, so I mean, what else can you ask at, at $25 or euros or pounds, really? 40 millimeters in diameter, it's about 11 millimeters thick. As a quartz, they, I guess they could have made it even thinner but 11 millimeters, 11 millimeters is not bad, so nothing to complain there. It kind of does wear a little bit bigger than 40 millimeters. I think I would attribute that to the lugs. If it had 20 millimeter lugs, then it would probably wear a bit smaller. It looks surprisingly large on the wrist, even though it's actually not. I guess that's just the camera being slightly deceptive. I really like how it wears on the wrist, it's really comfortable. And the loom, as you might have seen a glimpse of earlier, is actually quite fantastic. Um, it's not quite Seiko loom, but it's not that bad. It's quite bright and everything that's white on the dial, except for the border around the date window is loomed. So it's really nice. There's this sort of inner chapter ring with the indices I guess well you have the numerals 
on the inside on, on on the outer ring which is raised you have the indices so everything's just loomed and it's really nice to see the hands do have richer loom so they are a bit brighter than the rest of the dial having a matte finish i think the dial is really clean it's surprisingly good i really like the aesthetic had it been mechanical oh, that would have been fantastic this exact dial with a some sort of perhaps an NH35 or something in it would have been such a fantastic piece. So what are my thoughts? Overall, I really like the piece. These are only the first impressions. So the dial is fantastic. The price is fantastic. The strap's great. I don't really know how they managed to put all of this together at, at such a price point. However, it is quartz. So this is your beta watch. This is your true field watch. This is that watch you don't mind getting some mud on it has its own occasions to be used on personally i always prefer mechanical watches but this is pretty much my first quartz and i think it's quite fantastic so anyways thanks for watching guys head over to standard time insta if you want to see this piece and lots of other pieces on a daily rotation and check us out at standardtimeinsta.com if you haven't subscribed already come on go do that